Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have a great article for you guys from Fierce Wireless. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So I listened in on the Bank of America conference where Sam Path and Verizon CFO presented. And what I was looking for for myself is to grow more confident in Verizon's consumer uh, wireless business. That's uh, Sam Path is the CEO of the consumer wireless business and that's what I was looking for and the uh, the questions were actually great that that Bank of America was asking but Sam Path kept basically re repeating the same thing over and over and over and he kept saying we have a great value prop you know short for a proposition and that's why they don't feel the need to be as aggressive on device promos anymore. But my thing, if the value proposition has been so great, why are we seeing no movement and momentum on the consumer side? They haven't grown there at all. They've been taking losses. And the my plan has now been in place for a few a uh, few weeks maybe even a, uh, more than a month. And I'm hearing it's not going to be any better for the third quarter. Now, the only positive takeaway from this event that I was able to pinpoint is what they're, what what's being discussed in, in this article. He's saying that he tracks weekly where the carrier deploys C-band and where it's not deployed. And in the areas where they have the C-band deployed, the churn is far lower. So it's less congestion, better experience for the consumer, so the people are sticking around. In areas where C-band is not yet deployed, he's, he's hinting at churn being higher. Which, I can see that 100%. C-band is a very, very, in my opinion, critical piece to Verizon's puzzle in terms of bringing a lot of uh, capacity on air, right? Verizon has a lot of customers. They still have the leading, um, leading share in that segment. Although they're losing customers, they still have the most on postpaid. And... The C-band is going to be very important for them, not only for fixed wireless access, but to just make it a pleasant experience for the current user. So that's the only positive takeaway f for me from from this conference. Everything else is 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 pretty much uh, the same. He did talk about in the first hundred days that he's been in uh, been the CEO of the consumer group. Um, they've done a lot of restructuring. To me. That doesn't really sound like restructuring. I just think they went back to the basics. If you ask me, they brought back individual commission, um, which which is something that they should have never gotten rid of for the sales team. Um, they're, they're, they now have a more regional-based approach. I think that's, that's basic, right? T-Mobile does that too. So I don't see anything different there. They're not doing anything innovative or out of the ordinary on that front. I still think their marketing lacks a lot to be desired. Um, T I think T-Mobile, they spend less apparently on marketing, but I think their marketing is way more effective. I mean, I'm tired of seeing that, that actor that they have for the phone freedom. It's all over. Every time you click on YouTube, you see him, you see him on TV. Can't really, can't really say that for Verizon. And less less AT and T. I haven't seen a commercial of theirs forever. So, um, it's a very interesting, right? Like I said, the only positive takeaway here is where the C band is deployed um, more extensively. Churn is going down. That's good for Verizon, but they have to figure out how to grow that consumer business. It's it's very very uh, very important. The 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 person at Bank of America also disclosed that. In the analyst community, if you're not growing postpaid subs, you're failing. And that's pretty much what he told, you know, 
told Verizon up front. He told Sampath and the CFO that you guys are failing pretty much. And, you know, they acknowledge that and they say they have to get better at it. But then all I hear Sampath say is we have a great value prop. And I understand, you know, it's 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 pretty good. You know, you, you offer the NFL Sunday ticket. Um, you now give discounts on the perks. You no longer offer them uh, in for free. You give customers choice. So I understand that, but it's not it's not anything that people are getting excited over. I don't see people busting down Verizon retail doors to get in and and want to because they want to choose perks, you know. So I think that they they have to have a leading introductory introductory offer that gets people calling the 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 phone, right? Calling the queue, the customer service queue, getting or the sales team getting into the stores, right? For T-Mobile, it's clearly phone freedom. That's what they're mainly advertising. They're not advertising their new plans much. They're not advertising anything else but that phone freedom. That's that's what they're pushing 24-7. And that's what gets people into the door. And it's exceeding, you know, their expectations. And we'll talk about that in, in, a, in a different video because they also presented at Bank of America. So Verizon has a lot of work to do. The first 100 days, really just getting back to the basics for Verizon and Sampath. And now, let's see if they can execute. If they continue taking losses in Q3 and Q4, I don't see that much of execution. I see that as, as getting back to the drawing board. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.